All right. Hello, everyone. It's awesome Thursday. I'm Johnny. Um, I'm I'm naked, and uh, as you can see, like my ribs might look kind of funny because I broke them all. I don't really know. I don't really look at myself like ah in the ribs. If there's a better shot of my ribs that way, I don't I don't know. But um. Yeah, I'm going to start off by answering my own question, which was, um, name something that you thought was going to be horrible but wasn't, and one person alluded to it, and I know the others were thinking it, but sex. And we're on the subject of sex a lot lately, which is awesome. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I thought the first time having sex was going to be fucking horrible, and, um, it was actually pretty awesome. I was like 15, maybe? But, like, on a more awkward and personal note, um, the first time I had sex well, it was awesome. Um, her sister, who was, like, 20-something, walked in and was, like, instead of, like, doing what a normal person would do and, like, close the door and walk away, she just, like, kind of stood there for a minute and was, like, I guess you're part of the family now, and laughed and left. And I was, like, oh, god damn it. That's what I said. I said, god damn it. But, it was... I mean, that can't make for a more awkward situation, ever. Ever. Um, but yeah. Awkward. So on the questions, um, let's see. I'm trying to remember them all. Hmm. <laughs> um, let's start with the movies, because we'll get the, that other way first. Um, my favorite drama... With the Count of Monte Cristo, because I'm hella romantic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's a cute movie. Sorry this is wobbly, like, I'm holding it with my hand, all my spaced out. But, um, let's see, my favorite action? I don't know if I have a favorite action movie. Action movies aren't really my thing. But, uh, V for Vendetta was pretty bitchin'. Uh, let's see, what else? <laughs> favorite what's Harry Potter fall into I love Harry Potter as everyone already knows we all do you can't not love Harry Potter um 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 my favorite cartoon I don't know like Nick said Spirited Away is pretty good but, but I can't I, I don't know I'll have to get back on that one my favorite horror movie was The Exorcist, because I like my religion like that. I like my religion fake and in movies. Um, and that's kind of odd and surprising to people, but... To keep it in movies where it belongs, you know? Where it, where we know it's fake. Don't, don't try to pass. Okay, never mind, I'm not going to get off on a rant. Get off. Oh, damn. It's all sex talk. Anyways. Um... <laughs> Ooh, Nick asked, um, if I have a pet, and I do, I have a kitty named Leo, and, um, I'll show him to you, and he's the cutest cat to live. Yeah. cat person. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So as you guys can tell, I got my lip ring back. Because I was like, when I was like sitting there and I was like, hmm, it looks, still looks like a hole there. And there wasn't. But I had already started pushing and I ripped it open and put it back in. And um, it was worth it to not pay the extra like $20 to get it re-pierced again. Because, yeah. My arm's getting tired, so I'm going to put on some clothes and uh, finish this up. Finally, I put some clothes on, and um, I took my bandito off. I got a haircut. Can you tell? Oh, I noticed that me and Lacey both wear bandanas. And uh, it's blatantly a sign of our awesomeness. It's actually internationally recognized North Korea, South Korea, Europe, 
most of Europe. Um, Eastern Europe, we're a little iffy, they're working on it, but Japan and China, uh, obviously America, bandanas mean you're awesome. There's, it's just the way things are. Cross question. Friendships, uh, everyone knows we all think friendships are they're productive online and they're easier to maintain than relationships. You don't need the physical touch and they don't come with complications and the fighting. I, I just couldn't do it, not being able to ever see or touch or I couldn't do it. But if someone else can, if you could, that's awesome. That is because seriously, if you can do it, there's I have no problem with it. Why would it matter? Lost we we need more love in the world, not and if you can achieve it through the internet, that's way to go. Way to go. But yeah. Friendships are easy. I couldn't... Long distance relationships are the same. I can't do them. It just doesn't work out. But yeah, that's leading to Lacey's final question. About sex. And how many people have you fucked? But in a nicer term, how many people have you slept with? You. I I don't really know how to answer this. I don't want to come off like a slut. But guys in their teenage years, especially when I was younger, sex is still kind of important, but it's kind of whatever now. But when you're like 16 and stupid, it's kind of a status symbol. And I I mean, it's not a whole bunch, but I've, I've slept with a few share of girls. And... And yeah, I'm not going to lie, I mean, I'm, I'm irresistible, and girls tend to want to fuck me. And that may sound stuck up, but it's true. I hope. Tell me it's true! Tell me it's true! No, it's true. Don't worry, Johnny, it's true. Because you can never really tell by looking at a person, like... Ah, it's, I see, just, I can probably guess from looking at you, you fucked ten people in your lifetime. It's just, you can. Anyways, my question, it's, I'm gonna get serious for a minute, this is a kind of a serious question, because I've been meaning to do a video response on this video, and I'll post it in the section where a guy said that it was about the death penalty, and if, and he was talking about all the good things from that penalty. And personally, I think that we know we kill, it's estimated, I forget how many, but we kill so many innocent people a year with the death penalty. And even later, it's been proven with more evidences, you know, as we are able to gather more, um, the more technology we use that would kill innocent people. And I think that even if we kill one innocent person, one, it's way too many to kill even. If we kill one innocent person, that outweighs any potential benefit um, to kill a million guilty people. The biblical actor and I just, we're, we're smarter than that now. We're more humane than that. But that's the question. Are you in favor of the death penalty? But Yes, tune in tomorrow and subscribe. Subscribe, because I thought we'd have more subscribers by now. But we don't. So tell your friends, be like, oh, these people are bitching. And they talk about sex and all, a lot of good stuff all the time. And they're naked. They did a whole week naked. All, all of them. And that should be our new promo. They did a week naked. 